Good morning. Today is the 13th day of February in this 2022nd year, 2023rd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It looks like it's shaping up to be a beautiful day here. We have blue skies, uh, just a little bit of a wind blowing, not too much, and uh, temperatures are remaining on the cool side for a little while, but uh, we had a good saturation of rain over the weekend, so uh, all of those jonicles and daffodils and uh, other flowers that are starting to push through will uh, have an easier job of doing so. Spring is uh, is getting nearer to us than it is to many of you. I have a couple of uh, blooming trees out back and there's some blossoms already opened up on those. Uh, so we don't want to be in too big of a hurry for that. Uh, nature needs to run its course, but uh, Sometimes the seasonal temperatures vary so much that uh, we get a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, today, um, we have um, a prayer from Martin Luther that's entitled for an answer to the, uh, for assurance of being heard. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I ask for and need assurance that our petitions may be nothing less than yes and amen. Otherwise, we will not pray or have intercession made for us. Not that I am righteous or worthy, for I know very well and confess that I and we are unworthy. With our great and many sins, we have earned your eternal wrath and hellfire. But because you command and constrain us to pray in the name of your dear Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, I am still somewhat obedient not because of my own righteousness, but because of your infinite goodness, do we kneel and stand before you. We pray for what is upon our hearts concerning those in need of your help. If you do not help them, O Lord, you will offend and dishonor your name. Surely you will save your reputation so that the world will not say that you are an ungracious and dreadful God. Preserve us from such misfortune. Remember, dear Heavenly Father, how you have at all times supported and helped your people. We will not stop knocking, but will continue crying aloud and pleading until the ends of our lives. Amen. From the 51st Psalm. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out our transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. I desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. A devotional by Martin Luther entitled, Don't Wait to Pray. You must pray when you are in the heat of temptation, when your mind is preoccupied with thoughts of lust or revenge. If someone urges you to pray under these circumstances, you, uh, your mind often insists that it's too impure, as if your dirty thoughts leave no room for prayer. But you must not wait for temptation to end or the thoughts of lust and other sins to totally disappear from your mind before you pray. At precisely the moment when you feel the strongest temptation and are least prepared to pray, go to a place where you can be alone. Pray the, Lord, pray the Lord's Prayer or any other prayer you can think of to defend against the devil and his temptations, and then you will feel the temptation decrease Satan will run away. Those who think you should wait until your mind is free from impure thoughts to pray only help Satan, who is already far too strong. Waiting to pray is an unchristian approach to prayer. 
It's a teaching that comes from the devil. In order to keep yourself from believing these kinds of wrong ideas, you must follow David's example in this, in this song. Even after David admitted his terrible sin with Bathsheba, he didn't run away from God. He didn't say what Peter foolishly said while in the boat. Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. Luke 5, verse 8. Instead, David trusted in God's mercy and began to pray, Lord, even though I am a sinner, have pity on me. The time when you feel your sin the most is exactly the time when you most need to pray to God. Good words from Martin, good words of common sense, and let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, the temptation is to want to be right and perfect before we would stand before your throne. But you do call to us sinners. You call to us to reach out to you in our deepest times of peril. As our Lord did so in the desert wilderness, when he was tempted by Satan, he prayed and turned to you for your strength and your help. And finally, the devil did flee from him until a more, um, um, a more opportune time. O oh Lord, you delivered and cared for your own beloved son, and so we pray you would care for us in such a way, in such a way that you would show to us your love, your mercy, and your help. Care for each of us, O oh Lord, this day. Strengthen us in our journey of faith, confident in trusting in your words your words which bring us eternal life. We thank you for the gift of this new day, a day and a new week in which we have our life and being. We thank you for the night's rest and for the opportunities that lie before us. Might we stand firm in our faith and in our confidence that with you all things are possible, even those difficult things that we sometimes face. Strengthen us, O Lord, and encourage us and grant your presence and help with the peoples of the Ukraine and other places of conflict within this troubled world. Deliver them from the evil that has inundated their borders and bring them a lasting peace. And O oh Lord, be with all of those for whom we would intercede this day. We pray for Judy and her family, for Tom and Nikki and Lisa, for Miriam, for Billy, for Linda and for Evelyn Rag and Evelyn Tompkins. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would give us strength and encouragement in the face of all things. Lift us up, O oh Lord, and give us confidence to come to you at all times. Render unto thee is and those for whom we would intercede this day, including Mark Harrelson, your uh, your presence and your help. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon his face with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.